Women FC TV with Adam Hinchwood following a 2 1 defeat to Averley in the National League South. Adam, uh, what were your thoughts after that one? I just said to the lads in there that, um, you know, we've got no one to blame but ourselves really for the first half performance. Um, you know, we was, we was off it um, for whatever reason. Um, we gifted them two goals. Um, sloppy foul and it's gone deflected in, I think. And, you know, the lads, good player there, number 10, and he's. Scott three in the box to, to tap in the goal and if you defend like that um, at home and give yourself that um, much of an appeal task to, to uh, come back from then you are going to struggle but um, yeah also in down I thought second half um, was excellent the fans got behind us and rightly so because we had a bit more of a go we a couple of tweaks to the shape and it seemed to work and yeah I don't think you can do two more, too much more to win a game. I think we bit the bar, bit the post. Um, we've had a penalty um, disallowed, um, and then not retaken, which um, you know, I'm a bit baffled on. I've never, never seen it before. But like I say, we can't we can't hide behind uh, the referee's um, decisions. Um, I'm a firm believer that you can control what you can control and we've got to control us us being better um, and starting games sharper and on the front foot and we didn't do that today and I think you know that's that's the reason we, we, we've come away with nothing today. As you mentioned there we looked significantly better in the second half. First half we did probably deserve to be two down at half time but that, that second half felt really positive positive and felt like we could have got back into it. Yeah I don't know if we deserve to be two nil down if I'm honest. Um, I don't think I think there's more to come from them. Uh, I think they didn't have to do nothing first half and they got two goals. Um, you know, we, st we still got into some good areas, but you know, I don't think they deserve to be two to up. Um, but we was poor. I think there's over 11, 12 passes that we passed to an opponent or out of play um, when we're under no pressure. Whenever we broke the lines and we was driving with the ball, we just gifted it away, and you know, we was in, we was in good positions, um, three v three, four v fours, and. Um, you know, we, we didn't manage to, to capitalise on it on the day, but yeah, um, it is what it is. We look at ourselves, look at ourselves and, and what we can control and what we can get better at, and um, you know, maybe keeping our players well outside the box. Uh, and then a direct free kick be given against you because of it is something that we can't control. But um, yeah, we, we look at our, ourselves, um, dust ourselves down, and as long as we apply ourselves like we did second half um, for the majority of the games, then you know we'll be a, a tough team to play against. And um, you know you can see from their reaction, they're delighted to come here and, and get a win. And um, like I say, they're, they're a good solid outfit, work really hard for their for their manager, and um, they're on a good run kept a bit of momentum from last season so yeah we've um, we'll definitely uh, learn a lot from today um, but you know the encouraging sign is the way that we did respond we did respond well we reacted and uh, you know that we'll take a lot of encouragement for that. Uh, just looking at the squad today uh, Greg Lure was a notable absentee today he came off on Tuesday night looking like he had a bit of an injury on his foot what's the update with him? No, yeah, just got a, a whack on his, his toe. I don't know if it's a broken toe or not, but it's swollen and, and tender still. So, yeah, we're hoping he'll be able to um, have a bit more of an impact over the bank holiday weekend. Um, but, yeah, it might be an area that we have to look at, really. Um, you know, I thought it was a bit light in that area of the pitch today with, with Jake not quite ready yet and with no Greg leaving Ollie to lead the line. Um, you know, I think it looks a little bit light. Um, so, yeah, it's definitely a position we might have to look at before next weekend. Quan was on the pitch for a long time today as well. Probably the, I think it is the longest he's been on the pitch for us so far, uh, being at the club. How do you think he got on today? Yeah, well, I think he played a bit um, within himself, to be honest. You know, when you're coming back from that kind of injury, expect him to run himself into the ground, and I think he was a bit nervous, a bit, um, you know, tentative probably is the word um, and people react differently um, but yeah I thought after scoring in the week and it would be a different performance for him but I think maybe he's just still a bit of an impact sub at the moment because you know you give him a start and he just seems to play within himself um, but I think even you know I'll probably be a very harsh here because he's got undoubted uh, endless amounts of ability um, even play of 50% he can come up with something for you um, but yeah, I think there's, there's definitely more to come from him as well, so he'll only get better for us. Definitely encouraging as well that he could get minutes on the pitch too. No, yeah, definitely. He's, this one he's missed a lot of football. Um, what's he had? He's featured in every game, I think, for us so far, and he's probably well over an hour today, so really encouraging signs. But yeah, um, 
I want them to just leave everything out there. If we can only do 45 minutes at the moment, then do 45 minutes. Don't try and get through 90 minutes if you're not quite ready. And um, that's what it looked like a little bit. You know, it might be being harsh, but um, that's what it looked like. And, you know, he, he wasn't the only one. I think we looked like, first half in particular, we looked like we was a team coming back from ACL injuries and been out for 18 months, to be honest. Um, so, you know, he, he's definitely not the only one. We all look like first half. Uh, but like I say, he showed his, his quality. And like I say, it's really encouraging that a lad's been out as long as he has. He's featured in every game and he's got well over an hour today. So, you know, I'm hoping we'll get more from him over the bank holiday weekend. You mentioned the bank holiday weekend. That's two fixtures in one weekend. Do you think the squad's going to be okay going into that? No, yeah, we're probably a little bit light on numbers. Um, Kane coming back's massive for us. Um, you know, I thought a day was superb again today. Um, you know, what a player, he's just probably not got the ability that other players have got in the team, but you know, you know what you're going to get from him and I think that's all you can ask as a manager. Leaves everything out there, keeps the ball ticking over nice and tidy and uh, you know, he's definitely had, added something to us. But yeah, we've got to look at it, might have to get a couple of numbers in, especially in the forward areas with uh, no Jake and no Greg at the moment.